secret love affair by at alert I've been having an affair with K-dramas for 15 years. By having an affair, I mean that I have been in a secret relationship with K-dramas without the knowledge of those around me. When it finally hit me that I'm addicted to K-dramas, I was in my first year out of college, going into my first job. Back then, I thought I could do anything for K-dramas. I lied to my boss just to go back earlier from work, faked sickness on many days, and those legendary battles with house rats just to watch K-dramas, well, let's just say I've been to the worst ends for my dramas. It became my only source of entertainment when the internet was scarce and the job demands took a toll on me. It first became my escapism from real life, and I was so much absorbed in it that I would do anything just to watch that one episode of successful story of a bright girl a full house a day Jiang Jiam. When I found Drama Beans in 2009, I was already deep into my K-drama affair, and the only thing this site did was feed me with constant K-drama drugs to make sure I could never leave it. Well, I never left anyway. Circa 2009-2010 brought me to another level of obsession with K-dramas, as those were the days when the Halley Storm took over my life with Boys Before Flowers, Your Beautiful, and Sung Kyung Kun Scandal. By then, I already quit my second job, already decided on my life purpose, and finally decided to pursue my studies. Go back spouses in between attending classes and doing part-time jobs, K-dramas became my source of comfort. From the weekly heated discussions on drama beans, I learned to improve my English, it's my second language, and through those recaps that I read daily, I learned the importance of having your own voice in writing. I was mostly a silent reader, but I was so grateful for the K-drama and lovely drama beans community that time, that I ended up thanking them in the acknowledgement section of my thesis. Fast forward a few years later, life went on and I found myself back in the workforce. By then, I had pretty much included K-dramas into my daily routine. It became a part of my life I couldn't let go. I checked Drama Beans multiple times daily. By noon I'm pretty sure another subtitled drama has been completed. I found Park Seo Joon in Witch's Romance. Then, Healer happened. And then I got absorbed with the Answer Me series. It was a struggle to keep up with the affairs. Long queues meant more Halley gossip to read up online. 6.30 p.m. would be my K-drama watching time. An hour a day for K-dramas during weekdays, and at least four hours during the weekend. Monday would be a bit busier though, as I had to add few variety shows into the mix. K-drama has its moments when new actors and actresses come and go and I have to suffer every few years when the military taketh my opas. I became more selective of what I watch, and I would drop shows like Flies if they were not up to my expectations. I've gone through some drama slumps as well. At the same time, my life took a few more turns and the demands became more challenging. There were more responsibilities on my shoulders. You who forgot poetry I became a workaholic, usually working until 9pm. And spending most weekends at my desk as well. So I had to change my K-drama flexi hours. I couldn't sacrifice my work for my K-dramas, but I could always sacrifice my sleep. On days when I got too tired to even spend extra hours at midnight for K-dramas, I would force myself to wake up a few hours earlier, just to watch my favorite show. Sometimes on stressful days at the office, I would switch off the lights in my room, lock the door, put my headphones on, and watch some K-drama snippets from YouTube. It keeps me going, especially when I need to cool down from some heated arguments. I still do this discreetly, as no one at my workplace knows about this affair that I have with K-dramas. It has been 15 years worth of K-drama watching, and my affair with K-dramas has pretty much evolved from those energetic days of binge-watching to settling down and making K-dramas into a flexible daily routine. Things happen and life goes on, but I never expected to grow old with K-dramas. Nevertheless, that's pretty much what I'm doing now and I don't regret it at all. This is after all, an affair that is here to stay. Emergency couple related posts, work, life balance, and K-dramas, growing apart in taste, closer in marriage, work, life balance, and K-dramas, my mentor in life, work, life balance, and K-dramas, the perks of being a night owl, work, life balance, and K-dramas, a career in sneaking, work, life balance, and K-dramas, I did something today, theme of the month, work, life balance, and K-dramas.